Welcome back to Rocky Railway, everybody. We're on track for another incredible day. Let's start the fun by singing Your Power Will Pull Us Through. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you. Spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Doesn't the train do all the work? Everything went great. 
We made it over the mountain and delivered the M&Ms. Everyone was so happy. Then we turned the train around and headed back to the station. Then that's when I started thinking about how great it would be if I got here even faster. Aw, uh, did you miss us? Of course. But to get the train to go faster, we had to make more steam. In order to do that, we had to make the furnace hotter. And in order to do that, we had to put in more coal. So there we were, on the train, adding in more coal. It wasn't enough though, so we added more coal, but still wasn't fast enough. So we added more coal, and more, and more, and then... You made it that super fast? Nope, we ran out of coal. Wow, <laughs> that sounds frustrating and tiring. Yeah, just when I thought we were going to make it, the engine stopped. Yeek! <laughs> we were miles away from here. I hiked to get the help to get help while the rest of the crew stayed at the train. Well, I guess everything comes to an end at some point. Coal runs out, trains stop, parties end, people graduate from school, growing ups retire, ending is a part of life. Wow, not the most encouraging thing you've ever told me. Let me finish. Today my friends and I are learning that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! Thanks to Jesus, life you can, can continue forever until never and ever run out. Wow, that is the most encouraging thing you've ever told me. See, I just need to end my story. But I've never known anyone who lived forever. <laughs> then it sounds like you need to hear more about Jesus, Cam. I'm happy to tell you all about him because he's my friend forever. Let me find a train that can go rescue the rest of my crew, but then I want to come back and hear everything you have to say. I'll be right here waiting. Forever. See you guys later. Be back soon. Hmm. I wonder what Bible buddy will help us remember that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Let's find out. <laughs> Are you ready to splash into another fantastic day at BBS? I'm Finn, a rainbow trout. I'm happiest when I'm taking a dip in a clean, bubbly mountain stream. Ah, oh, this is the life. This stream is where I began life. This exact spot where I hatched is pretty important to me, but we'll get to that later. I spend most of my day flipping my fins, swishing my scales, and exploring this awesome river looking for food. I love to eat. Me and my fishy friends spend about 80% of our day looking for food. I use my mouth to poke around and look for good stuff to eat. And sometimes I end up getting a mouthful of weeds and sticks. Not bad. Of course it's not as good as the bugs or the crustaceans I usually like. I'll even jump out of the water for them. God gave me something super sharp to help me find food, my eyes. They show me what to eat <laughs> and what to stay away from. After being born, I might travel to a new stream far away from my home. But when it's time to lay eggs, rainbow trout always return home. My cousins, steelhead trout, travel from a freshwater stream all the way to the ocean. Even if they've lived in the ocean for a couple of years, they swim against the stream to make it back home. That takes a lot of power. Wow. Home is important to me and my fish family. Jesus knew that a forever home was important too. That's why Jesus died, to pay for all the wrong things you've ever done or will ever do. Because those sins are paid for, you can have life forever in an awesome place called heaven. But Jesus' power doesn't just cover your sins. Jesus is so powerful that he beat death forever. But it gets even better. The Bible tells us the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. That means a friendship with Jesus gives you the same awesome power that let him beat death. <laughs> wow! So if you're feeling worried or sad or things seem out of control, Remember that Jesus' power is bigger than anything, and it's right there for you. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. There he is. This is Finn. Finn is a fantastic and surprising reminder of Jesus' power and love. You know, 
put your hands together like this. This is our bubbly buddy Finn. That's right. You're going to have a fantastic day today on the Rocky Railway. Let's pray. Thank you, God, that you give us your son, Jesus, and he gives us the power to live forever. Bless our day, Vacation Bible School. In his name we pray. Amen.
He gets first place for healing people. Definitely. Or a blue ribbon for miraculously feeding hungry people. Jesus did all these things, and he walked on water, he calmed the storm, he raised people from the dead. The Bible is filled with true stories of all the powerful things that Jesus did. He could do all these things because he was God's very own son with God's power. This week, you've learned and sung about the best, most wonderful, and most powerful thing Jesus ever did. In fact, the most powerful thing in the history of the world, and Jesus did it. On a hill far away stood an old rugged, rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. You see, not everyone believed that Jesus was God's son. They, some people thought he was a liar. They got very angry, and they arrested Jesus. They hurt him and forced him to carry a rough wooden cross to the hill called Gogo. There they nailed his hand and feet to that cross and left him to die. In that time, only criminals were put to death by a cross. But Jesus had never sinned. He was, Jesus suffered for our shame. We may feel ashamed for the wrong things we do and the bad choices that we make. Even though we do a lot of good things, we still all have sin. I love that old cross where the dearest and best for the world of lost sinners was slain. Slain means to kill something. And Jesus was the dearest and the best. Peter 2, verse 22. He never sinned nor ever deceived anyone. When we want to do something wrong, there's usually a punishment or a consequence. When we sin, the ultimate consequence is separation from God forever. Imagine being separated from God's love, forgiveness, goodness, power, and joy forever. It was for one word that would describe what that would be. Even though Jesus never sinned, he willingly died for you. He loved you so much that he took the punishment for your wrongs. It was the only way to heal our friendship with God. So I cherish the old rugged cross. I lie my trophies. At last, I lie them down. Do you know what cherish means? It means to really love something, to have it hold a really special place in your heart. Sometimes we value treasures or cherish our accomplishments. You know, these awards and things. It's okay to be proud of them. You worked hard to get them. But without the thousands of ribbons and awards and good deeds, they can't wash away our sins. We can never do enough things to earn our way into heaven. The Bible says it this way. God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It's a gift from God. We're powerless to save ourselves. Only Jesus can save us. Let's lay down these treasures and awards at the front of the cross as a way to show that he is most important.
Three days after Jesus died, something incredible happened. Matthew 28, verse 2 through 4. Listen to what the angel at the tomb said. Don't be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He isn't here. He has risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come, see where his body was laying. Jesus' power beat death on that day for Jesus, and today for you and me. The Bible promises this, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him will not power, perish, but have eternal life. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! Trust Jesus! <laughs> because, Je because of Jesus, we can cling to the cross, the promise, the hope, the love, the power it represents. It says we'll exchange our trophies for a crown. The Bible describes heaven as streets of gold and walls made of gems. The place Jesus is making for us is more beautiful than we can imagine. There are no more tears or sadness, and God's peace and glory is everywhere. Wow. Wow. That's something to cling to. Now we're going to pick up our hearts, and you're going to take your heart, and you're going to go ahead and hang it on your cross. You can li live forever with Jesus.
So the last thing we're going to do is if you can turn into, whoop, sorry, your Tracking with Jesus books to page 29. And that is the most important story to be told. And you should read it. And you may share it with some people that you know. Share it with your family or with some friends. And on that note, we are going to go ahead and call it a day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you and have a good day. Bye. Welcome back, kids. I'm so glad to see you here at Kid Vid Sim Emma today. Today we're going to watch a very special story about a young boy named Isaac. I'm going to be right up front with you and tell you that this story at first seems a little sad, but there's also a lot of hope that is revealed to us in this story through Jesus' power who helps us live forever. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Today, we're going to start a little bit backwards, and we're going to start with our Bible verse. So let's dive right into our Bible verse today and see what the Lord says to us in his word. Today's Bible verse is Romans 8, 11. And it reads, the Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you. Today's verse comes from Romans 8, 11. And you'll find the verse written on your Bible memory buddy in your kit. And today's Bible memory buddy is Finn. He'll be found in your BBS kit with today's verse written on the back so you can help memorize it. All week at Rocky Railway, we've been learning about Jesus' power. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. That's incredible news. That means you can live knowing that when you believe in Jesus, you can live forever with him in heaven. So today, in our video, we will meet a boy named Isaac. Isaac had a very sad thing happen in his family. Isaac's brother, Joel, died from a disease, a disease called cancer. That doesn't happen very often, and especially not to kids. So it's not something you really need to be afraid of or worry about, but Joel, he was a friend of Jesus. So Isaac and his family are glad to know that now Joel's in a wonderful place called heaven, and he lives there forever with Jesus, and he will have a chance to be reunited with his friends and family once again. Let's watch and see how Isaac is excited to see his brother in heaven someday. And off to video land we go. I'm Isaac and I'm 11 years old. Uh, at home I like to, well a lot of times I play video games. <laughs> I have two brothers, one's older than me, he's into acting and singing. My younger brother, Elijah, he's seven. My sister's name is Zoe, but she, like a normal four-year-old toddler, will make messes all the time, paint on the walls. Isaac also dances. Uh, I started dancing, I think like two years ago. My favorite kind of dance is contemporary or lyrical. It's sort of like ballet, but it's a little more free. I always felt like when I was dancing, I wasn't really stressed about anything or worried. Sort of forget about anything else that is bothering you. Isaac had another brother named Joel. Joel was two years younger than I am. 
He was always really happy and joyful. When he was one, he was diagnosed with brain cancer. Cancer is a disease that most kids do not have or get. He had to do some crazy thing to get rid of it, and it was gone for a year. But then it came back, and they said he only had a few months to live, but then he lived five more years. Sadly, Isaac's little brother, Joel, died. One of the things I remember a lot about him is he always had that, like, little giggle. <laughs> he, he always loved knocking cup towers down. So he'd make one that was, like, maybe double the size of him, and he'd run into it, and it would come down, and he'd laugh so hard. A lot of times we'd take him to this farm. It was like a petting zoo in some places and you could feed the animals. I have this one mem memory of Joel. He, he was feeding the goats. So we give him the bag to reach in and <laughs> give to the goats. But then he just gives the bag to the goats and the goat devours oh. the whole thing. <laughs> Joel always loved animals. One time he got a ride a pony and he was so happy. He loved it. Isaac misses his brother Joel. Joel loved Jesus and believed in him too. Um, a lot of times I feel sort of like I miss him and pretty sad, but I'm glad that he's in heaven and he can do so many things that I can't even do right now. <laughs> Dancing always like cheers me up because I sort of, it makes me think about God and how he's with Joel and he is amazing. <laughs> Isaac knows that because of Jesus, he will be able to see his brother again in heaven. I sort of look forward to hearing his giggle and I look forward to running up to him and giving him a grand old hug. <laughs> In the Bible, the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 11 says, The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. I feel like that verse makes me feel like sort of hopeful that we can share the power of God and the Holy Spirit with the whole world and that one day we can all know Jesus and God and praise and worship together, even if we die, we still get to live forever in heaven with God and Jesus' power is letting you live forever. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Thanks for watching this video with me today. I think it's normal to feel a little sad after watching a video about a boy who died. But there's also a lot of hope in this story. Joel loved Jesus, and he's in heaven with Jesus right now. Joel's not sick anymore, and he doesn't have to deal with treatments for his cancer anymore. It's sad when someone we love or know dies, but the good news, the wonderful news, is that death isn't the end. Jesus is power. Let's us live forever. Trust, Trust Jesus. Because of Jesus, Isaac's brother Joel is living with Jesus right now, and we can do the same someday. It's okay to be sad when someone dies, but it's so great that the sadness won't last forever, but life with Jesus will last forever. What do you think heaven will be like? Think about that for a little bit. I love what Isaac said about heaven, that he'll be able to give his brother a grand old hug, and that we'll all know Jesus and praise and worship him together. That sounds awesome to me. So let's close today with a grand old hug for our family. Come on in, everybody. Invite your family in for the closing prayer, and let's give everybody a grand old hug.
Dear Lord, thank you so much for your love and power. Thank you for making it possible for us to live with you forever. Thank you that we'll get to hug our loved ones in heaven and praise you together. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, how about another grand old hug for our family? See you tomorrow. Welcome back to Imagination Station. I'm so happy to see you. I can only imagine what we'll discover together today. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! But before we do anything else, you know, I just have to ask, did you bring your imaginations today? I don't know. Your brains look a little dried out to me, but I have an idea. I was talking with my friend Finn. Finn, he's a rainbow trout. Finn told me some really interesting facts about rainbow trout. Did you know rainbow trout are part of the salmon family? So each year, they go home to the same river where they were born to have their babies. That's so incredible. How do they know where to go? God made rainbow trout so amazing. Anyway, I was thinking, since rainbow trout go back to where they were born, let's pretend we're rainbow trout like Finn. Make your best fish face. When I count to three, keep your fish face and shout out where you were born. Ready? One, two, three. Colorado. That was fun, all you fish. Now our imaginations are really swimming. Okay, here's today's question. Rainbow trout have teeth, but do they have only upper teeth or only lower teeth? Got your answer ready? Okay, time for the drum roll so I can reveal the amazing answer. And the answer is... Rainbow trout like Finn have teeth only on the roof of their mouths. Imagine that! Today, 
We're discovering that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Heaven will be amazing. But here on earth, sometimes things get a little rough. Sometimes our lives are filled with hard things we have to face. Think about some of the hard things you've gone through in life or hard things that kids your age sometimes face. For me, I went through a really hard time when I had to move away from all of my friends. I wasn't sure if I'd ever make any new friends. Yes, sometimes our lives are filled with things that are hard. Kind of like this bottle is filled with water. One day, our lives on earth will end, and that seems sad, but it will also be the end of all those hard things in life you thought about. Sadness will end. Sickness will end. Bullying will end. Loneliness will end. Because of Jesus, there will be no more tears, no more sorrow. There will be only joy and light and love and Jesus. Our joy will be bottomless, endless. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. I'm so excited and thankful to know that when we believe in Jesus, we can know for sure that we'll live forever with him in heaven. Our story will go on and on because of Jesus' great love and power. Today's gizmo is called a perpetual paper. The word perpetual means never ending, something that goes on and on without end. And these perpetual papers can remind us of our never ending story with Jesus. Each page of your perpetual paper has something for you to do. And as you open each surprising page, you'll see that your story with Jesus just keeps going on and on and on. It's really cool. Go ahead and grab your perpetual paper. Hold it so that you're looking at Ramsey, the bighorn sheep. This page reminds us of what we learned on our first day at Rocky Railway VBS. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. And there's a space for you to draw something hard that Jesus has helped you do. Maybe you'll draw a soccer ball because Jesus helped you learn a hard new sport. Or maybe you'll draw a school building because Jesus helped you during a hard time at school. So go ahead and start drawing.
love how Jesus helps us do hard things. His power is amazing and full of love. Now hold your perpetual paper so you're looking at the bighorn sheep and open it like a book. Cool! Now I see Ava the red-tailed hawk. She can remind us that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus! There's a space where you can write a note to Jesus, thanking him for the hope he's given you. Now unfold your perpetual paper to discover another buddy. The Sierra page reminds us that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus! Sierra says to tell about a time Jesus helped you be bold. For me, it was the first time I trained for a marathon. I didn't think there was any way I could make it, but I prayed and Jesus helped me to get through. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! What an incredible gift! The chance to live with Jesus in heaven forever. When you believe in Jesus, your relationship with him will never end. It will be perpetual. Open your perpetual paper one more time to find Finn. Heaven is going to be so amazing. Listen to just a few things the Bible says about what heaven will be like. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. And listen to what this description of heaven will look like. The wall was made of jasper, and the city was pure gold and clear as glass. The twelve gates were made of pearls, each gate from a single pearl, and the main street was pure gold as clear as glass. Doesn't that sound amazing? On Finn's page, draw what you think heaven will be like. Go ahead and do that now. I love these perpetual papers. I can't stop playing with mine. It's so fun to keep opening the pages over and over again. And no matter which page I open, I can remember Jesus' power. And I can use my perpetual paper to tell my friends and family that Jesus' love is perpetual and it never ends. Well, we've come to the end of our time today at Imagination Station. Take your perpetual paper and put it inside a baggie so it doesn't get lost. If you have a Try This at Home sticker, it will help you remember today's point. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! 
All right, we'll see you here next time at Imagination Station. <laughs>
us to lead us where I'm Spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the night